Welcome back to Computron Support, to an updated version of a video that I previously made and the instructions simply on how to run the SFC scan, which is the system file checker on Windows. Now, uh, the difference um, with new versions or new updates that have gone into Windows and the new builds, when you right click on the start menu down here uh, in the bottom, so simply right click, um, instead of the command prompt, we are taking now Windows PowerShell Admin. Let's give you the instructions to run the scan. When you hit that, it'll ask you for user account control. And the answer is, of course, yes, uh, because you have started this process. The, uh, the instructions are exactly the same as previously. So we type in SFC for System File Checker, space, forward slash, then scan now, all one word, and we hit enter. Now, the scan can take, well, depends really on the speed of your computer. It could take anything between 10 minutes to uh, 20 minutes. Allow it to run on completion. Simply close this dialog box, or not dialog box, but the uh, the PowerShell, uh, by hitting the, uh, the cross in the top, or type the word exit and enter. Um, and it's quite important, once you've done that, to restart your computer. Um, what's actually happening here, the system file checker will use an embedded uh, secret, not a secret file, but a file deep hidden within the operating system, uh, a compressed image file, which contains, if you like, a healthy version of, of how the system should be. And if it finds corruptions, it will copy the files from that into the uh, your current system settings. And basically, this will fix 101 different things with Windows. Um, so it's worth running. And of course, if uh, I have directed you here um, on support, on telephone support, perhaps, uh, then there are the instructions, SFC space forward slash scan now. Uh, quite often you have to run the DISM scan as well, or the DISM tool, which is the Deployment Image and Servicing Management tool. Um, I'll run another video with that, uh, with instructions of how to run that particular scan as well. Uh, but for now, there we are. That's how to run the SFC scan on Windows 10. Uh, simply right clicking on the start menu down here. And the, the, the main difference between uh, previous versions or out of date uh, versions of Windows 10 or even Windows 8 and 8.1. Um, when we right click here and get some of these power tools, uh, Windows PowerShell, it says, instead of uh, Command Prompt Admin. That's the main difference. Okay, thanks for watching. Uh, this video is embedded on the Computer and Support on the blog. Um, so if you're watching this on YouTube, there will be a link down below the video, uh, which will take you to the full blog post. Uh, if you are on, watching on YouTube, you can always hit the red button to subscribe to the Computron YouTube channel.